everyone, a follow-up to the video I did earlier on the uh, smell coming into the cabin of a Toyota Yaris. So this video is about how to change the rocker cover gasket. Uh, so I'm not going to keep filming all the way through, but what I'll do is do a step-by-step -step so that you see where what I'm doing um, to get the job done. So let me just show you what I need. There's the rocker cover gasket seal itself if you want to see the part number there you go got that for 20 pounds and then the brake cleaner just to um, clean out the uh, oil uh, excess oil at the end so that you don't get the smell going in and then a bit of gasket seal because just here I'll show you later on in the video there's a little uh, gap between where the chain uh, is sits where you need to make sure you put a bit of gasket seal in so that it doesn't any uh, oil doesn't escape out so first things I'm gonna do and I won't video this part it's quite obvious I'm literally going to unscrew these coil packs you can see the 10 mil I think it is 10 mil bolts there so I'll unscrew those pop those out and then I'm gonna take these bolts off the top of the head there so this is the gasket this is the gasket here so that's the top of the rocker cover and there's the, the engine there so that's what we're going to be replacing so I'm going to take this off and then there's one there there where's the other one gone <laughs> can't see it there it is, hiding away there, and then there's this one, that one, and then there's four others around the back. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. There, and there, there's two, and there's one. Yeah. That one there, and that one there. So, I'll take those off. I'm going to take this hose off here because obviously it's attached to the rock cover and then also this hose here, got to take that off so that will allow me to release the uh, head, uh, rock cover sorry, from the head of the engine so let me get on with that and I'll show you how it looks once I've taken it off OK everyone, a quick update on progress thus far so I've taken that, there's the line there, the hose there, I'm taking it off there, the hose there is sitting somewhere around here somewhere. Uh, there it is, I've tucked it underneath there, out the way. And one thing I forgot, there's two, once you've taken these plugs out, there they are, sitting here. Once you've done the 10 mil, all they do, you just pull them out, they pop out, um, and there's nothing more to it. So I've left it plugged like that so I know which order they're supposed to go back in but take a picture if you're not sure but in this case uh, I already know so it's alright and uh, this way make sure they go back in the order they're supposed to be um, anyway so what I've done the only tools I've used literally I've just used this I love this if you can get this really good quality this here you go Neo tools or but this is on a ratchet so it angles and I'm using these Sealy sockets so wicked quality these Sealy ones and here they are here they all are these are the ones that are from the engine block uh, around the uh, sorry gasket rocker cover a rocker and then can't get my words out sorry it's really cold and these two long ones are the ones that sat here and here I forgot to tell you about those and you have to exercise a little bit of patience on those ones because they're, as they're coming out the thread gets stuck on the rubber seals there so you just have to st stay patient and slowly get them out um, otherwise the rest of the bolts came out quite easy without any issues whatsoever um, didn't need much force um, albeit just to be cautious I did put some WD-40 on there um, but that's it and so now 
just have to lift the head off. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of a flat head just carefully here or a knife or blade if you got one. Be careful you don't cut yourself. Just to ease it off the uh, rubber because it's quite stuck on. And once I've done that, I'll get back to you. And I managed to get it off. It didn't take that much effort. I just used a flat head um, screwdriver to. I gently went on there. Uh, left a little bit of a score, score mark, so just be careful. Luckily, this won't matter. Um, where well, I was talking about the gasket, look, see how before they got a little bit of a gasket there? Because this mark here can you see the line in the metal the little crack there so you need to yeah let me move this there you go so you need a bit of a gasket seal there to make sure no oil comes out but as you can see here um i touched it and it literally is so brittle it broke so you got this seal here it literally comes off then you've got to take these seals off and the pack comes with it um, just make sure nothing goes into the chamber where the spark plugs are be mindful of that and um, yeah so all I'll do is put the seal back on this as it is here like the rubber is here I'm going to take that off and I'll put the new one on and that's about it and a uh, little bit of gasket so I'll rejoin you then okay so I've cleaned all around Make sure all the muck is off. I've put a bit of gasket seal there where the um, chain cover meets the actual engine lock there. And I've put some there as well just to seal up the join there. When the... Can I get the focus? Here we go. Okay. Right, so the gasket itself, you cannot go wrong with this one. Let me move Literally, before I fully fit it in, I'll show you. See, there's grooves all around. So all you do is just insert it in. Don't worry about these heads. I'm literally, what I've done is I've put the screws there just so I line it up correctly, but you don't need to put that in. Literally, all you do now is... If I show you a little bit, it's going to literally gently put it into the groove. And that's all there is to it. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll show you the next bit. There you are. So I've slotted it into the groove. Just make sure it's sitting nicely in there. Okay. So all I need to do now, let me take these out. I just need to literally put it back in to on top here gently does it of course and just to give you a little hint let's see these two screws here that were holding the top of the rocker cover well use those as the guiding pins to help you put the engine block back pro pro sorry properly I can't get my words out yeah so get it um, in properly you just use those as the guiding um, rings there okay so I'll do that now so thankfully, that went back in uh, without any hassle. Um, as I said, I made sure that the holes lined up with those two guiding uh, pins there, or screw holder, um, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, I used that um, as a template and put that in, and then the rest sat in place. Literally took about 30 seconds. But obviously, do do it gently. Make sure there isn't any crud or anything in the way. and. Just make sure that the seals are sitting properly before now you do the home stretch. Put all the things you took off back on again. So I'll put all the screws on. Now the tip with putting these screws back on is do them, hand tighten them first. Don't fully tighten them whatever you do please. Otherwise you're going to get the seal not sitting in properly and you're going to get leaks. So once you've put them hot hand tightened them I do apologize it's so cold out I can't get my words uh, out properly today um, but anyway once you've done that what you do is you do near far near do a zigzag when you um, uh, do the final tightening which I'm going to do so I'm going to start here tighten that tighten that 
tighten that, tighten that, go like that, 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 back, forth, sorry, there, 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 like that. So I'm going to do it like that, so it's like a zigzag um, where you're doing it, and that should usually help it to seat and seal properly without leaking. So I'll just get that done, and I'll show you the final results. So finally... Excuse the noise over there, someone's doing some work. Um, so I need, so I've put all the screws together, back together, put the hose lines back, and of course, the, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, when these plugs are out, look into the spark plug chamber, make sure there's no oil or anything sitting in there, you might just have to... Uh, use a suction machine to get that out, but thankfully in my one was uh, nice and clean So all That was all there was to it And now all I need to do is put that back on top Like so Use the guides Where are they gone? There you are so all I do is just put the screws back on there, and there, and there, and job done. The eagle-eyed amongst you may have seen that I left the uh, screws on what looked like water. It wasn't. I just uh, sprayed a bit of WD-40 and left them sat there to try and release some of the uh, rust on the actual bolts itself. So that's the only reason why they were there, and it's not water. Let's have a look at the old gasket. That's in my Rubicon box here but as you can see, I don't know if you can see but it's cracking it's cracking around the edges can you see that just there so it's got cracks all around and of course the uh, the bits and pieces that was on the uh, spark plug housing because I was trying to take them out they were so brittle they broke into pieces so yeah it really did need changing look like it was the original part the engine looks well um, looked after it was relatively clean and again there you go and that's the parts I used and I literally just used my Nero half inch drive with a 10 millimeter socket and that was it and an extension for just for ease of use sorry i used this short one look at all this i didn't need any of this stuff i just needed that and of course I used a bit of brake cleaner just to gently clean off some of the excess uh, muck there and that's it hope that helped everyone make sure you like and subscribe take care bye bye so a little something extra what i've done is i've taken that off what i forgot to say is what you should always do is check that it's not actually leaking. So what I've done is taken the beauty cover off again. There it is. And uh, just double checking that there's no leaks. I've had it running for over half an hour. It's fully warmed up. And as you can see, no leaks coming through. Gone through all the way around. No leaks. And of course I've put the heating on full blast. Let's have a look. No warning signs other than the handbrake up and the door open and if anyone tried to get clever with me there. Uh, but yeah, so I've got the heating up. No oil smells, no nothing. So that's worked. And uh, final thing, total labor time on this one is about 40 minutes to an hour for a home novice like myself but someone professional at the garage will probably take about half an hour for them to get this sort of work done but yeah so hope that helped everyone why don't you give it a go it's not that difficult like and subscribe and take care bye bye